and welcome to today's vlog. Hello Jan. Hello Tony. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we're Jan and Tony. We're making new memories. Lots of them. Oh yes. And at the end of our last vlog, you'll recall we were at those idyllic moorings at Blakemere. Oh. Blakesmere? Blakemere. No, Blakemere. Blakemere. One of many mares around Ellesmere, which we did actually get to, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we saw Ellesmere. We stayed there a couple of days. Um, nice, nice, beautiful, lots of individual shops and restaurants and cafes. At the end of the uh, arm, there's a Tesco, which is very handy. Um, very bizarre. Yes, just but a very random, handy. Random yeah, Tesco handy. at the end of a canal junction, which you think is a bit. Have they put it there, especially for us boaters? Mm, don't know. But they do want you to go into the the little town because it's got loads of lovely little shops and yeah, stuff in yeah, there. You should. Yeah. So in today's vlog, what are we doing? Well, we're heading off towards the Ponte Silte Aqueduct. I think I said that right, did I? I can't even say it. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to say it. I don't want to do it. And apologies if I mispronounced that. <laughs> um, but I have been practicing. Uh, I don't speak Welsh. You didn't speak Welsh as well either, did you? No. 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 Never mind. I understand yeah. a fair amount, but... but yeah. The beauty of the Langotten Canal is not only the scenery, but the fact that you don't get one aqueduct, you get two. Because you go over the Chirk Aqueduct before you go over the Ponte Silti. And I'm so going to... So you get like to... a practice, which is what you're doing. Yeah, I'm going to take the boat over the Chirk one, yeah. just as a practice. As a and practice. then God knows what happens then. Yeah, because um, I'll obviously be flying the drone, won't I? And you'll be off the boat. So I won't be on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be leaving Jan here to the tiller. Oh my To take Lord. you over the aqueduct, which should be at the end of the vlog somewhere. Oh. Wish her luck, everybody. And here's today's vlog. Jan's at the tiller. Ooh, it's not even the big one. Oh, the scenery.
you made it then. Yeah, well I'm here. <laughs> Wasn't that spectacular? No. <laughs> I had to leave her on the boat steering her to come over the aqueduct because I was off the boat operating the drone. Yeah, but I didn't realise he was getting off before we'd even turned the corner to go on the aqueduct. So I had to pull off and I was woo right across the canal. Um, oh somebody even said to me, oh, you've, you've done this a few times as, I, as they're walking along beside me and I'm going, I've never steered the boat properly before. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, somebody's turning. You, you might hear a few noises here because this is obviously, we're at Trevor Basin or Trevor. Is it Trevor? Trevor. Well, I'd Trevor, say Trevor. Trevor Basin because we're in Wales now, so you have to speak with a Welsh lilt or sing. La. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Even the sewing machine at her house was a singer. Oh my God, where do you get them from? Is that an old from? joke or is that an old joke? Where do you get them from? <laughs> anyway, the noises you can hear, yeah. those boats that are turning uh, left off the aqueduct yeah. uh, onto the Llangollen, towards Llangollen. The Llangollen. And hopefully this evening we shall be going to here, this pub here, which is called the Telford, after Thomas Telford. Yeah, who I deserve of the meal. Built the aqueduct along with John Rene. And Did he, he have a bad stomach? No, shut up. Well, okay. And he used to. Did he come in? Frequent here? there. Oh right, okay. Yes, so, Thomas, quite a few we're times. Got, so we're going to go in tonight to Thomas Telford's local. If he's there, he can get us a pint. Long gone. Oh, okay. It's lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> Before we went out for a meal we decided to get to know a little bit more about this World Heritage Site and Trevor Basin itself. My name is Colin Dixon and I'm the Thursday Ranger. Only on Thursdays I just walk up and down answering questions about where the toilets are, how much the car parking is, how long you can uh, moor up and if necessary drag people out of the uh, canal with this. Have you ever used that? Yes. <laughs> well Trevor Basin was built as a wharf for loading um, lead, because there's lead in the hills here. Uh, there's loading bricks, because there's a brick factory nearby. And very adjacent to us, there was a big chemical factory, big in chemicals. And also, they needed to transport livestock. It's quicker than the old drovers' trails to get goods to London, Bristol, Liverpool. And you can go to all those places from here. And just down where we are, you can see the three bridges. Can yeah, the three bridges. Yeah. They, 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 uh, they were originally, they were going to go to Chester, but it was, it was too difficult and they, it was too expensive buying the rights to the land to go across. So they decided to just link it up with the Middlewich Canal, which is further across the aqueduct, so you can go to Chester that way or Liverpool or London or Bristol. And obviously there's three arches because one was for the horses, one was for the yeah. boats yeah. and the other one was for... Freight. Freight, okay. Cool. So, but they weren't trains were they? No, no, no. We're talking 70 years before even steam railways were uh, thought of and things like this. So they, it was all horsepower or manpower or um, ropes and pulleys. Everything was done with. They did have cranes for loading stuff up and they had a in the local village they had a crane for loading stuff down from the village which is quite high up down into the canal but th they're not there anymore because they're not not needed and what would you say to anybody who wa wanted to come to trevor do you pronounce it trevor by the way trevor, trevor yeah yeah well especially if you've got the name of trevor you go and take your photograph by the sign don't you yeah people do that yeah, yeah it's like having a tv <laughs> channel called dave isn't it? yeah and um what i would say is it's part of a World Heritage Site, which is a 12 mile long uh, strip along the canal. So there's no McDonald's right. here, no you Starbucks, no nothing. It's just nature in the raw, and you take it as it is. And the car parking costs a whole three pounds for a day. Cheap day out for a World Heritage Site. You'd charge you more than that if you went to Pisa or the pyramids or something like that, wouldn't they? You sold it to me. <laughs> It was super busy on the Langotlan Canal and so we didn't take our boat all the way to the basin. But we did manage to get some footage of the traditional horse-drawn boat.
Might be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget to give us a thumbs up for a like. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you naughty people, and we know who you are, then press the subscribe button. <laughs> and don't forget to press the bell icon. Ding! And YouTube will notify you next time we upload a vlog. So, in the meantime, until the next time, stay safe, everybody. Happy cruising. Don't look down. No, don't look up. Don't look anywhere. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.